It's the world's second most traded commodity. Only petroleum is more craved than exchanged. It has become so natural a part of our everyday life that few realize that these beans contain more than a thousand different chemicals. 800 of them are aroma compounds, meaning that no two cups of coffee will taste exactly the same. Making that perfect cup of coffee is therefore no easy task. Coffee water should be between 92 and 96 degrees Celsius. Too cold, and essential aroma compounds won't be released. Too hot, and you'll be left with a bitter cup. But among the many different chemicals, one stands out. Caffeine. Caffeine closely resembles a molecule found naturally in the human body. That molecule is called adenosine. Adenosine is the chemical responsible for making us sleepy. But the two are no perfect match. This means that caffeine stops adenosine from doing its job. But it also starts a process leading to the release of several arousing biochemicals. Adrenaline and dopamine are released, making you alert, energized, and jittery. Adenosine is the body's natural brake pedal. It signals the body to slow down, to stop from using all its energy. But with caffeine blocking the adenosine receptors, the body keeps firing, making it seem like you can go on forever. Caffeine can be a treacherous drug. It can warp your sense of time, making it seem like time goes by faster. Go to bed and sleep, yeah. All this is now eight o'clock in the morning. <laughs> you drink a lot then? No, not a lot. Because coffee doesn't make sense to me. It does not work for me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Oh, hey, where are you going? Sorry, I got a report to write. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. But the effects of caffeine will wear out. This will make the day's exhaustion catch up with you. Most likely making you crave a cup of coffee in order to overcome your fatigue. But as pleasant as a cup of joe can be, it won't help. Your adrenaline glands are worn out, and in fact you'll be more fatigued. Eye twitches, headaches, and lack of focus is quite common. But extreme doses can induce even more severe symptoms. Heavy mood swings, anxiety, hallucinations, and even seizures. So at one point, you will need sleep. But that... It's easier said than done. And after eight hours of sleep, you can start all over again.